Hello, this is Reverend Angelia with today's sermon. Normally, I type this out, but my computer crashed. Um, today was the third day, so I was hoping it would come back, uh, but it did not. <laughs> so, uh, rather than try and type on a laptop that the spacing on the keys is not right so that I can type and hunting and pecking with one finger, I decided I'm just going to invite you in to my service on Sunday here in my home. I know we just do this uh, because I considered this work, but maybe, you know, this is what God has planned for me now. Um, so anyway, I'm going to invite you to this part of our service, the reading part of our service. There are other things I do with sage and holy water. Um, and, you know, you do your rituals, whatever you do in your home, but I'm going to invite you into our reading part you know, of our service this week in my home. So, yes, uh, this is what you get. I'm in, um, you know, jeans and a sweatshirt. That's what I do on Sunday. I'm as natural as I can be on Sunday because this is the Lord's Day, and I'm not supposed to be prettying up and working on the Lord's Day. <laughs> so, this week's passage is um, from John uh, 20. Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene. Then the disciples went back to their homes. But Mary stood outside the tomb crying, as you know, would we all, I imagine. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white. That's one of them, oh, poop, no moments. <laughs> Seated where Jesus' body had been. One at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said. And I don't know where they have put him. And of course, they might be upset by that. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she did not realize that it was Jesus. Woman, he said, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet returned to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am returning to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. And now we do um, our Psalms. Um, I'm going to just stay them. Um, and you can, you know, stay along um, as in, you know, poetry. The church's one foundation is Jesus Christ, her Lord. She is her new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her, and for her life he died. Elect from every nation, yet one or all the earth, her charter of salvation. One Lord, one faith, one birth. One holy name she blesses, partakes one holy food. And to one hope she presses, with every grace endued. Mid toil and tribulation, and tumult of her war, she waits the consummation of peace forevermore. 
Till with the vision glorious her longing eyes are blessed. And the great church victorious shall be the church at rest. Yet she on earth hath union with God the three in one. And mystic sweet communion with those whose rest is one. O happy ones and holy, Lord, give us grace that we, like them, the meek and lowly, on high may dwell with thee. Amen. So that's what we do. We, we, we chant a psalm here. Um, and then I have lots of books of, you know, prayers slash poetry um that we do um you know because we don't often have somebody stand up and testify here in my home <laughs> in fact i'm the only one here today all my sons are at work or out so it's just me and you guys gardens i tend my garden with great care lest bug or blight should settle there and sun and rain each do their part to help these seedlings as they start. To reach up toward the sun and sky. With leaves outstretched and heads held high. Our children are the world's sweet flowers. Needing love, attentive hours. Knowing someone's there to care. When a hurt is hard to bear. Having love to help them grow. In self-respect with goals to go. They are our seedlings reaching out. For guidance wherein there's much to doubt. Could we but nurture every child. In all the world and know they smiled. To feel our love secure not lost. What a wondrous garden. Well worth the cost. And that's by Helen M. Motti. So that is the reading portion um, of uh, my service here in my home today. Um, I watch uh, four to five <laughs> other church services on Sundays. Um, I'm just not able to get up in the morning and go to church anymore. Um, so that's that. Um, but I've had a rough three days starting Thursday. Um, like I said, my computer died. You know, and my son says it's the new Windows 10, you know, thing that's jacking everybody up. Um, but not only that, it seems for the past three days, um, everyone has just brought me these big and mental and emotional problems of theirs. And all of this is just really weighing on me. Um, and this morning when I got up, I'm like, I'm so tired, I can barely walk. And I was. And I'm like, this might be the day I'm done. You know, it just might be. Um, but through all the messages that I saw today and the message that I just shared with you has just strengthened me. Um, let me know that God is there. God is in control and he's taking care of things like I can never take care of things. Um, so he has renewed me today and strengthened me today and I'm very thankful for that. Um, so, you know, uh, I'm going to let you go now, do the rest of my stuff that I can't, you know, I can't carry this laptop around, show you everything. That's too much for me. <laughs> But um, I want to just say that Jesus loves you. I love you. Um, and in this earth school called life, um, as you face your challenges, uh, spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical, stop, take a breath, and think, what would Jesus do? And when you find that answer, that's probably what you should do. <laughs> so that's all for now. Until next time.